So by the end of today, hopefully you will all be in groups. I'm not sure what those groups will be, but I know five people will be in each group. So that's, that's as good as I get. Normally I name the groups and I decided that I would rather this time, this semester, that you get to choose groups. And so instead of giving you maybe three options, three articles to read and you choose the group you wanna focus on, I allowed you to, um, I allowed you to just explore the Aspen Institute. They definitely talk a, about a lot of things. Um, they definitely talk about a lot of things and that uh, I think that'll allow us to explore America from a lot of different perspectives and ask questions about, you know, like, what is America? What do we, um, what do we want America to be? Who are Americans? And I, I think that's the lens that we're looking at various topics through. I would like to say that I'm done with papers, but 13 of you know that I have not read your paper yet. I spend a good amount of time on each one. I want to read. I want to give you a fresh view. I want to give you a score that reflects you. Um, Litzy found out what happens when I'm tired and I'm on about my 10th paper in that she got a very low score on her grade, not because she actually earned that score, but because I was so tired that when I was clicking um, my keyboard, I didn't give her points for a category. And um, so she sent me a note and said, I'm pretty sure I reached out to the audience at least somewhat. And I said, yes, you did. So I fixed that score. Um, all of that is to say, if you're confused about your grade, if the comments that I've made on the rubric and, um, and on the essay, aren't clear to you, make an appointment to talk to me um, or email me as Litzy did. Um, Litzy's was an easy fix. She has her points now. Um, but sometimes you will have questions. And uh, you know, like even though you might feel like you don't know me, um, you will get to know me better if you talk to me. And so professors can seem really distant, especially right now, but dialogue opens up an understanding. And so I would encourage you to make an appointment with me. Um, you can also, um, with future papers, you can talk with a tutor or with a peer, uh, but they can't read my mind. Um, although there are plenty of the tutors who know me very well, and there are several students who have actually had me in classes. And so it's not that they can can read my mind, but they kind of know what sort of things I, so I care about. And so, um, by the way, you can still get 10 points extra credit for um, visits to the Writing Center uh, this week, if you haven't done that already, or with Alyssa. And those could be about revising a, um, those could be about revising a strategy paragraph. Remember your last essay, you're going to be including some of these analyses in your paper or writing new ones. And so um, that could be helpful. Um, also, you might wanna brainstorm. Once you're in a group, you might wanna brainstorm you know, like how you might approach this essay. So there we go. Um, this week, I keep saying, um, you're going to identify group topics, you're going to sign up for a group, and then on Wednesday, we have a meeting with a librarian to learn how to use the library database. And this will be very, very important as we move forward. Um, at my understanding is the library is still closed. Um, there are librarians you can work with individually, and the librarian on Wednesday will talk about that. And yeah, that's all I got. So, America, I want to, as I was reading the discussion boards and the summaries that you wrote and the topics you were exploring, um, I was really fascinated 
this class is dealing with a lot of issues and some of you named the pandemic, COVID, some of you named education, some of you talked about climate change um, and the environment, um, equality, economics, uh, uh, lots and lots of important issues. And I want to emphasize that America is not an institution. It's not a country that's separated from the world or the major issues facing the world. And so as we explore these issues, we want to keep in mind our essential questions. And these are, what is America? What is an American? And what do we want America to be? And so like we can imagine a better America. We can think about the values that we want to hold America, that we want to be standard. We can think about how we can get there, how holding certain values in mind can help us achieve our goals with economics, economic inequality, civic inequality, civic engagement argumentation, decreasing polarization. Uh, it's, do you see how we can ask how and why and to what extent um, we can really begin to dream with these issues and questions about America? Um, so in your randomly select, in your, your randomly chosen groups today, I want you to discuss what you read about, and I want you to identify possible topics that could lead to research projects. Lovely picture. This is what it would look like if we were in a library classroom on Wednesday, which we will not be. So um, once I put you in groups, you're gonna see a slide like this. Um, and I've got, our essential questions, what is America? What is an American? What do we want America to be? Just so you keep that in mind, but then you're gonna name possible topics based on your reading. So make note of the group that you are put into and let me give you um, your slide deck that you can go to and you can edit. So make note of that. And now I'm gonna put you in groups. Any questions before uh, you get sent away? Just okay. to clarify, sorry. So yeah. we're talking about the topics we chose from the Aspen Institute, right? Like Yes. Okay. okay. Um, and so talk about these from the ones that you choose, then we're gonna narrow it down to six different topics. And then you're gonna sign up and it's gonna be five people in a group. So think about, you know, like your favorite topics. Some of you were torn, you know, like, do you wanna look at the media? And um, do you want to talk about civic engagement? And so both of those were interesting to you. And so, you know, we're just gonna see where it goes, see what we end up with and uh, choose the groups that the class is most interested in, okay? So I'm gonna open all the rooms, uh, make sure that you've copied, copied that slide deck and then have a conversation with each other. What did you discuss? What are the topics you think are most compelling? Some things you're gonna see, you know, like we can double up on them. Some, somebody might say economics, and some person might say economic inequality. And so we could combine those. And so be thinking along those lines, okay? You are now getting sent to a room. Like a lot of other groups, coronavirus and um, everything people are losing because of it. Okay, and you'll notice I'm not putting all the 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 depth of your ideas like 
education about climate change, because we don't, we just want some topics, things that we can examine and um, things that we can examine about what we want America to be, or, um, you know, like how what we see is reflective of America or how we can have change. Um, environmental crisis, um, educational reform. Was there a group eight or did we just have seven groups? Um, I don't know, like my group, we didn't really, we couldn't write on it, but we, I forgot what group we were, but it was with um, Eliza and with Javi and we were talking about like the same like climate change and how it should be taught like early on in education, but I don't think we have a slide. Yeah, I didn't, apparently I didn't make a slide for group eight, so climate change. Yeah, we talked about climate change and how it should be taught early on. And then um, we also mentioned mental health. And then Eliza mentioned how like the voting um, system and how it in like basically how our government, like government corruption in a way. And then Javi mentioned how um, there are like immigrants who are still working during COVID and like they don't have like the same, like, I guess like a form of like security blanket, like other places because they need the money and how they're still like risking their lives and things like that. Okay, so that's a lot of topics. Um, yeah, we like um, expanded like our, the three of our articles, that's why. Yeah, and we wanna, we, we don't wanna just choose um, the direction because everybody in the same group is going to talk about the environment. Everybody in the same group would talk about um, Corona. And so there would be lots of ways to examine it. Um, the effect on the economy, um, attitudes about masking, um, attitudes about the virus. Do you see how every one of you is going to look at a topic from a different vantage point. Um, so what are the ones, as we look over these, and you can see them on your slides, what right now I'm going to um, make it so that nothing else can change. Okay. As you look at these, what are some of the ones that you think um, I see media and representation, um, but this is a, a wider topic of um, diversity. The criminal justice system, um, criminal justice system, argumentation, that would be civic engagement, um, cultural diversity, mental health, education, um, break the economy. I'm gonna send you back into your groups again, and I want you to look over these. You will not be able to edit but I want you to create a list of what you think, remember there's gonna be six different groups. What are the six groups that you think are most important, okay? So look at the slides, you won't be able to change them, so take notes, okay? Questions about what you're gonna do? So are we ranking the list of each group is what you're saying? Nope, you are narrowing them. Just as I said, you know, like we see media representation, we might expand that to diversity or um, the justice system um, is a different thing. Or we might say America's response to the coronavirus. 
or the role, you know, like civic engagement that would include voting. How can you make these research topics, not research topics that can be broadened? Okay, I don't think I'm communicating this well. So with climate change, a lot of you wanted education about climate change. But climate change is a broader topic than that. And if everybody in your group wrote an essay on education on climate change, it might not give a lot of information. We wouldn't get different perspectives. But I know from your discussion boards that you talked about a lot of things about climate change, not just education. Similarly, um, the justice system in America, that's a really broad topic that can be approached a lot of different ways. Um, so think about injustice in the, see if you can narrow these topics to six topics that include everything on here. Did that make sense? You can tell this is the first time I've ever done anything quite like this before. Okay, we're making it up as we go along, more or less. Um, you've got five minutes to turn this into topics. Hi, lots of confusion here. Um, and yet some really, really good ideas as I popped around it in a few groups. I, I, um, I'm gonna pull up a slide. You won't be able to see it um, or, or why not? I can type, I can type on it. Um, while you see it. So group three named a lot of things. Um, uh, group three, you want to share what things you had because it was all really good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll share. So the first topic was uh, just civic engagement in general. And then our second topic was um, education, whether that be climate change or really anything else. And then the other one was um, inequality. And you can go into a lot of stuff like maybe the criminal justice system or um, economic um, inequality. Yeah, and you know, like even the opioid crisis would fit in to this category. Um, there are a lot of things that fit into this category. And so um, what are some other things that that you came up with that maybe were less narrow or um, what kind of stuff did the rest of you come up with? I was just in room seven. And so um, I remember the environmental crisis. Anything else? Um, in my group, group eight, we like talked about several actually. One was like voting in America, like in like, because you could go into a lot of with that or just immigration in general. And then COVID, we made that a topic because there's a lot of aspects to it, whether it's like how earlier we're talking about how certain people don't really have the, what's it called? Like the benefits to it. And then we also said education, but that's already on there. Um, and so civic engaging, voting, argumentation, um, involvement, starts with an I, involvement in um, politics, polarization. You see how it includes a lot of different topics. Um, COVID, um, response to COVID. 
And that can include, or let's just make it COVID in general. You know, like we could be talking about the economic impact. We could be talking about quarantines. We could be talking about the political response. We could be talking about masking, the politicization of COVID. There's lots of ways to go with this. Um, is there anything else? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Is there another category? Oh, somebody talked about mental health. Does mental health, does it, would it go into any of these other categories? What do you think? I think maybe mental health could go into like education in a point how we're not really taught about it like as a like a broad form like it's usually only like mentioned in like a workshop or something um, but it also could be by itself so yeah it it could go into education but not necessarily um let me uh, I'm going to um, Sorry, what am I doing right now? I'm creating a poll. Um, one, two, three. Uh, it seems like I'm missing something. What else did we name? I have education, diversity and quality, civic, civic engagement, environmental crisis. COVID. COVID. How could I forget that? I talked with group one and they had also said um, health, the healthcare system more broadly and like mental health could always go under that. Um, okay, so. Let me launch the poll. You should be able to choose more than one of these. And then I will send you a sign up sheet. Ah, that was me being frustrated. So sorry. Okay, multiple choice. I know it's 151. Thank you for your patience. Do you see the poll? Okay, so choose, I think you'll be able to choose six of these that you wanna choose and you want our, to be our topics. You can vote for fewer if you, um, Alyssa says she doesn't get to vote. Neither do I. Okay. Two people have not voted. One person has not voted. Everybody's voted. So 
So can you see these results? I'm gonna print screen. It does look like diversity and inequality is the largest followed by education, the environmental crisis, mental health, and COVID and immigration are basically tied. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna send a sign up sheet with these categories on it. And you'll choose the topic that you choose, <laughs> that you want. Hopefully you'll get, hopefully you'll have, you know, like you'll get the topic that you want, that you're most interested in, or you can find a way to include your topic as part of that broader topic. Um, fill it out as soon as I send you the Google Sheet um, so that you, because the sooner you fill it out, the sooner you'll find out, sooner you get, the more likely you are to get what you want. It's 154, I don't wanna keep you any longer. I'll stick around for a few more minutes if you've got questions. I know that was a little messy, but we accomplished what we needed to, I think. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.